Imagine a place on the moon where water ice exists, and where humans could potentially build a base for future exploration. Sounds like science fiction, right? Well, not anymore. Because a foreign nation has just achieved a historic feat in lunar exploration by landing a spacecraft near the lunar south pole. A place that holds secrets and mysteries that could change our understanding of the moon and its potential for humanity. Welcome to Cosmic Hunnex, the channel where we explore the wonders of the cosmos and hunt for the answers to the most intriguing questions. In this video, we will tell you everything you need to know about India's Chandrayaan-3 mission, the third lunar mission of India that joins USA, Russia, and China in achieving a soft landing on the moon. We will also reveal what makes the lunar south pole so special and why it could be the ideal location for future moon bases. But before we dive into the details, make sure you subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get notified of our latest videos. And if you enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. India's space program began in 1962 when a group of visionary scientists led by Dr. Vikram Sarabhai established the Indian National Committee for Space Research. Since then, India has made remarkable progress in launching satellites, rockets, and probes for various purposes such as communication, navigation, remote sensing, meteorology, astronomy, and planetary exploration. India's first lunar mission was Chandrayaan-1 which was launched in 2008. It orbited the moon for almost a year and made several important discoveries, such as detecting water molecules in the lunar atmosphere and confirming the presence of water ice in some of the permanently shadowed regions near the poles. India's second lunar mission was Chandrayaan-2, which was launched in 2019. It consisted of three components, an orbiter, a lander named Vikram, and a rover named Pragyan. The orbiter is still functioning and sending valuable data and images of the moon. However, the lander and rover faced a setback when they lost contact with mission control during their descent to the lunar surface. The lander was supposed to land near the South Pole, but it crashed due to a technical glitch. Despite this failure, India did not give up on its lunar ambitions. It decided to launch Chandrayaan-3, its third lunar mission, on July 15, 2023. Chandrayaan-3 is similar to Chandrayaan-2 in terms of design and objectives, but it has some improvements and modifications to avoid the mistakes of its predecessor. Chandrayaan-3's journey to the moon was not easy. It had to adjust its trajectory and altitude several times during its month-long journey to reach the moon's orbit. It also had to face many challenges during its landing phase. One of the biggest challenges was the communication delay of about three seconds between Earth and moon. This meant that Chandrayaan-3 had to rely on its onboard sensors and cameras to autonomously navigate and land on a safe spot near the South Pole. Another challenge was the lack of a detailed map of the landing site. Unlike other regions of the moon that have been extensively mapped by previous missions, the South Pole is relatively unexplored and unknown. Chandrayaan-3 had to use its radar and optical systems to identify obstacles such as craters, rocks, slopes, and shadows. A third challenge was the limited sunlight available at the South Pole. The sun is always low on the horizon at this region creating long shadows that make it difficult to see clearly. Chandrayaan-3 had to rely on its batteries and solar panels to power its systems and instruments. Despite these challenges, Chandrayaan-3 successfully landed near the lunar south pole on August 20, 2023. It became only the fourth country in history to achieve a soft landing on the moon after USA, Russia, and China. It also became the first mission to land near the lunar south pole a region that has never been explored before. But why did India choose to land near the lunar south pole? What makes this region so special and interesting for scientific exploration? The answer is water. Water is one of the most essential and valuable resources for life and space exploration. And the lunar south pole is believed to have abundant water ice deposits in some of the permanently shadowed craters that never receive sunlight. Water ice on the moon could have several benefits and applications, such as providing drinking water and oxygen for astronauts, producing rocket fuel by splitting water into hydrogen and oxygen, supporting agriculture and habitation by creating a lunar greenhouse, enabling scientific research by studying the origin and history of water on the moon. Chandrayaan 3's main goal is to confirm the presence and distribution of water ice near the lunar south pole. To do this, it carries 14 scientific payloads on board its lander and rover, which measure various aspects of the lunar environment and resources. Some of the key payloads and discoveries of Chandrayaan 3 are chastity. This payload measures the temperature profile of the lunar soil at different depths, ranging from 10 centimeters to 100 centimeters. This is crucial for detecting water ice, as water ice can only exist below a certain temperature threshold. Chastity has found that the temperature near the South Pole is much lower than other regions of the moon, indicating a higher possibility of water ice. Lunar Retro Reflector Array 
LRRA this payload consists of eight small mirrors that reflect laser beams from Earth. This allows scientists to measure the precise distance between Earth and Moon, as well as test Einstein's theory of general relativity. LRRA has shown that the Earth-Moon distance varies by about 30 centimeters per day due to gravitational effects. APXS This payload analyzes the chemical composition of lunar rocks and soil using X-ray fluorescence spectroscopy. It can detect elements such as iron, magnesium, silicon, calcium, titanium, aluminum, and chromium. APXS has revealed that the lunar south pole has a different mineralogy than other regions of the moon, suggesting a different geological history. LIBS This payload determines the elemental abundance on the lunar surface using laser-induced breakdown spectroscopy. It can detect elements such as hydrogen, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, sodium, potassium, lithium, and fluorine. LIBS has detected traces of water molecules in some of the samples collected by the rover, confirming the presence of water ice near the South Pole. Chandrayaan 3's lander and rover are expected to operate for at least one lunar day, which is equivalent to 14 Earth days. During this time, they will perform various experiments, sample analysis, technology testing, and exploration activities. They will communicate with mission control through Chandrayaan 2's orbiter, which is still orbiting the moon and sending data and images. Chandrayaan 3 is not the end of India's lunar ambitions. India has already planned Chandrayaan 4, which will be a sample return mission from the South Pole region. Chandrayaan 4 will launch in 2025 and will bring back some of the lunar rocks and soil for further study on Earth. India also seeks collaborations with other space agencies such as NASA and ESA for joint lunar missions. India believes that cooperation is essential for a advancing space exploration and achieving common goals. One of these goals is to establish a permanent human presence on the moon. The moon is not only a fascinating celestial body, but also a potential habitat and gateway for deep space exploration. The moon could serve as a base for launching missions to Mars and beyond as well as a platform for observing the universe. Chandrayaan 3's successful landing near the lunar south pole is a historic achievement for India's space program. It demonstrates India's technological prowess and scientific curiosity. It also contributes to humanity's quest for understanding and exploring the moon. Chandrayaan 3's scientific payloads provide valuable insights into the lunar environment and resources. They reveal secrets and mysteries that could change our perception of the moon and its potential for humanity. India's ambitious space program continues to inspire exploration and research. It shows that anyone with a vision and passion can reach for the stars. The moon holds untapped potential for humanity's future endeavors. It awaits us with its challenges and opportunities. Will you join us in this cosmic hunt?